a YouTube uh, marking here. Here's a story from the New York Post by Ellen A.J. Connolly. And it's titled China Targets Africans Travelers. Travelers, huh? Amid new wave of virus cases. Okay, so what, what's been happening is the United States media, um, they've been um, trying to deflect blame on the virus, right? So what I've seen currently, they're trying to blame Europe instead of China. And China is blaming foreigners. So I've seen videos online. You see uh, China's basically uh, removing uh, Africans from hotels, putting them on the streets. And, you know, uh, it's, it's what you expect. You know, it's, again, passing blame. Okay, this, this is exactly what's going on. So, article states, A city in southern China has ordered bars and restaurants not to serve customers who appear to be African origin, citing an increase in cases aboard the U.S. from aboard, the U.S. consulate said. Guangzhou, which has about 15 million residents, is promising that anyone with African contacts will face mandatory tests followed by quarantine regardless of recent travel history. U.S. diplomats also advise African Americans who or those who fear being targeted to stay away from Gonzo. You know, th this has me very curious, right? What what will the what will our media do? So what goes on is the media tries to promote um, identity politics, right? But they they never they never try to um, those those who push identity politics. They try to make sure they don't clash. So you'll never see a um, an anti black article um, if it if if it involves promoting um, womanhood in the same article. You'll never see a, a a pro woman article attacking black people so the media tries to make sure there's no conflicts right so I'm really wondering what they'll do here they're they're in bed with it, the Chinese Communist Party right will they talk talk about this story now that's gonna be a very interesting will the story essentially gain traction time will tell we'll see today tomorrow uh, Monday, we'll see. Anyway, some African traders, oh boy, traders, that's a bad thing, um, have reported being evicted or discriminated against because of virus fears. In an unusually open critique, the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives tweeted a video of him uh, pressing the Chinese ambassador on the issue. It's the most undiplomatic the way I'm talking. But it's because I'm upset about what's going on, Femi Gbaba Jabali uh, said. We take it very seriously, Ambassador Zhu Pingjing replies. So we can see there's some conflict happening, but I think uh, Africa needs the, the China <laughs> more than the other way around. So that'll lead, to, that'll lead nowhere. Sierra Leone's diplomats in Beijing have met with Chinese officials and stated in very strong terms the concern and condemnation of the disturbing and humiliating experiences of citizens have been subjected to accordance to the statement from the African nation. On, on Saturday, China blamed travelers from aboard. They started doing it and American media started to promote it a few days before that. It's not just Saturday. Anyway, we see where this is going. Like I said, the um, United States media is going to reframe it, and they have started to, blaming Europeans for the quote-unquote the string uh, in America. We'll do an article on that. Uh, see if we could break it down. With uh, uh, we see if we could break it down, but never believe that it came from China. They're trying to reframe it to blame Europe. Okay, that's what's going on. They were liars. Okay, guys, uh, share, save, subscribe. Don't believe the the media, especially if they're liberals and on their left, okay? Don't believe them. Never. They're all a bunch of lies pushing up uh, identity politics. 
Okay. Anyway, um, the, the right also had their agenda, but so far everything points towards the the left being absolutely insane and lying. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. Share, save, subscribe. Thumbs up.